when I was going through the divorce, it was very, very difficult in terms of, I had always envisioned, mm -hmm. imagined that I would be married forever and ever. And when our time came uh, to an end, I was just at a point where I was like, what do I do now? Because I'm not supposed to be divorced because it says as your marriage vows until death do us part. And I knew that I was still alive and walking around and whatever. And I was like, how could this be? So I, was, I had uh, started going back to church and I was standing at church. I met some of my friends that uh, we'd gone to Church on the Way, which is a church uh, in Los Angeles uh, in the valley. And um, while we were there, the pastor had asked everybody to stand up and close your eyes. So I had my eyes closed and all of a sudden I felt this heavy presence of hands on my shoulders. And I was like, it's so such, you know, the weight of the hand was just heavy. And I was like, is somebody touching me? <laughs> and so I kind of like opened my eyes so that I could see if anybody, you know, like maybe one of the persons on either side of me had their hands on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. So I opened my eyes and I looked to the left, I looked to the right. No, I mean, everybody was, they had their eyes closed just like I had had my eyes closed. And so I thought, oh, then I thought, oh, I could hear in my mind that it was not only just the presence of the Lord, but he also spoke to me. He spoke to me and he said, you know, it wasn't an audible uh, speaking and it was, I am your provider. Because at that time, I was just trying to figure out all the things that I needed to do and what would I do, you know, with this thing, that thing, all the things in your life, uh, whether it's uh, financial or whatever. And uh, it was really, I guess, like a confirmation to let me know that when you're praying and you believe that God is going to handle this for you and take care of it for you or give you direction as how you can take care of it, then you have to allow that. You can't look to other people to do that for you. At least I'm going to tell you that's what worked for me. It may not work for you, but for me, it was my all in all healer from that day forth. I could really know that whenever I would just, even for a moment, just a moment, if even for a moment, I would forget that and forget that. Um, look to him, continue to look to him, that uh, everything is going to be all right and not try to, you know, look at your friends, your family, some other people around you or something. And it's not that they can't help. They can help you. But if you're asking God, to do this for you, then you have to give that to him and then let him take care of it for you. Or if you think you can do it yourself, then good luck is all I can tell you. Didn't work for me. <laughs>